any organization likes to have a mix of two things. You want to have the structure and the framework so that you have a due process and you make sure you don't miss any of the key elements in building a strategy. But having said that, as you said, you want to stay nimble, you want to be able to respond to changes that happen in the market from time to time. And I think the way we've worked it out in our organization is we have an exco that operates at the top level, but we also crowdsource ideas from within, uh, from the young talents who are you know, at entry level, who are living the space, who know what's going on around. So the idea is to not get lost in the numbers, the numbers are important, but that, those numbers are what we call slow data that comes in on an annual basis or on a, on a six monthly basis, but you also want to reach out to what's happening in popular culture today uh, and get a sense of that which is very real time and you can make real time decisions based on that information that comes through. And how influential is, is popular culture on your business today? Well for us we believe that it's fundamental to everything we do. So an idea is not an idea that is worth sharing unless it is rooted in popular culture. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, that's, our, that's our measure. Yeah, we look at the consumer inside, we look at what's happening in popular culture today, and the idea, that media idea that we recommend to clients has to ultimately sit on that element of uh, popular culture. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, if popular culture is rarely going to come to you out of, a, out of a research report. It is going to come to you out of talking to people on the ground, talking to young people, or whoever is mm -hmm. living in that space. And fortunately, we are a very young industry. So those, that target audience literally lives and works inside our office. So you know, why should we waste that opportunity? We really tap into uh, the young people who are working in our company for those ideas. Yeah. And I mean, it's quite an interesting point, I mean, area of business today where, where ideas, you know, like look at, look at something, you know, I say again, Pinterest, or look at something like Instagram, which is a yeah. very young company, you know, just had, had a, a billion dollar buyout yeah. you know, from, from another company which is you know, honestly not that much older. I that's, mean, that's correct, yeah. It, it's, quite a, it's quite an interesting area. Of it, yeah, I mean, again, the way we, fortunately we also leverage our network to stay on top of those sorts of trends. So we have a system whereby anywhere in the world if there's a new technology development or something that's hitting the trend lines, within 24 to 48 hours a white paper is generated and it's, uh, it's sent out within the network to all, all the key decision makers mm -hmm. within the agency. And then it's up to us to then share that with our clients and then to take action on it. So that really allows us, it's, that's where we really leverage the network. It allows us to stay in touch with trends that happen anywhere in the world. And then to be prepared for when that trend hits our shores. So Pinterest is not yet big in Malaysia, but because we get these reports and it tells us what the commercial applications of these sorts of trends are, we are ready and waiting for whenever Pinterest should start to hit that critical mass or that tipping point in Malaysia. We will, we will have a few ideas ready on how we can sort of leverage that. Yeah.